Hello and welcome to My Report East Mojo's daily news bulletin update. We bring you the biggest and latest happenings from east and northeast of India. I'm Simran Bajaj. I'll be your host for today evening and I'll also be giving you updates from Assam. We're being joined by our state correspondents. We have um we have Princess Giri Rashi from Meghalaya, Vangamla Sally Kapai from Manipur and Chandan Pandey from Tripura. So let's start the show and let's first head on to Princess from Meghalaya. So uh, princess ever since uh, Guwahati city as in Kamrup metro has gone under in a, a complete lockdown effective from today the Meghalaya government has also decided to uh, shut shops from Bernihat up to Rani so can you tell us more about that Uh, well, uh, just a few hours ago, there was a meeting, uh, a review meeting held by the ministers, and a press briefing was being called by the deputy chief minister, President Tinsong, along with the health minister. Now, what he has informed is that during the re- review meeting held today, uh, the review meeting which is always held every day to review the uh, situation in the state. So they've come about with a decision that, due to the prevailing situation in Assam, looking at the cases as a spike. of uh, covid-19 cases the government has now decided that all these shops along the uh, ro- uh, road connecting to assam that is basically from bernihat up to rani so uh, they have decided to, uh, you know to close down all the shops so uh, now when we are asked you know if people will be restricted from moving if restriction uh, people will be mis- uh, restricted from moving so clearly what this uh, they've not been able to give a clear answer to that because what they're saying is that their mean uh, uh, their mean uh, idea of shutting down our shops right now is because uh you know a states uh, like meghalaya and uh, assam which is very uh, interconnected so uh, there there are people from assam who, who enter into meghalaya buy some of the essentials from the shops just along the road so they want to ensure that people don't enter you know due to that they're ensuring that the all the shops along the uh, 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 connecting with assam are being closed immediately just to avoid any uh, the spread of this uh, coronavirus now apart from this they've also mentioned that uh, as for interstate also this will continue to be prohibited and remember that this closing down of shops will be effective from tomorrow that is tuesday and will be effective till uh, july 15th now the government has also informed that if need be they may even extend this uh, you know restriction or this uh, shutting down of shops along this uh, route so these okay, are the, so- uh, recent developments Mm-hmm. Yeah so princess i have this uh, doubt so what about essentials ve- essential commodity vehicles that will be flying on these roads so those are allowed right absolutely those will still continue to be uh, allowed to fly those will be exempted from this a restriction that has uh, been uh, given today and uh, the government also said that uh, the authorities that is the district administration that been informed to give out uh, instructions and they've also left it upon the wisdom of the deputy commissioner of reboy district uh, how to implement the restrictions you know how uh, the people are moving around so this will be upon the wisdom of the deputy commissioner to uh, to uh, you know uh, imply that and meanwhile i'll just give you uh, another update also now remember yesterday when east mojo had published a story about the, uh, because there was a lot of hue and cry over chief minister traveling uh, to other states uh, amid this pandemic so uh, what has happened is that there, there were questions whether the chief minister would quarantine himself would whether he would follow the protocols or not so what we have seen yesterday is after several questions were raised whether the chief minister would follow these protocols or not so you see that Uh, you know even today itself also when we were at secretariat we were looking if we would meet the chief minister but he was not in uh, secretariat not in his office but he was at home uh, under home quarantine now as yesterday mentioned in the article published on eastmojo.com we had mentioned that uh, according to the press uh, to the statement issued by the chief minister's office they mentioned that the chief minister has tested twice a uh, tested negative twice for covid-19 is and is undergoing home quarantine and also the officials who had, uh, the the security personnel and the others who had accompanied the chief minister to the to manipur and delhi have are also observing home quarantine so uh, these are the updates and uh, apart from this uh, yesterday itself uh, meghalaya recorded two uh, more fresh cases and uh, they have tested positive and are under uh, quarantine at the moment so these are the updates simran Thank you so much for that update princess. Uh now I'd like to give our viewers updates from Assam. So uh today is the first day of the 14 days lockdown implemented in Kamrup uh, metro district that is covering the large uh, entirely Guwahati city and uh, as reported by eastmojo.com 
the streets are deserted and there are hardly people outside flying, uh, moving around. The uh, shops are shut because even essential commodity shops are um, under this total lockdown have to remain shut. Only pharmacies and medical uh, medical uh, services will remain open. And uh, there's no update uh, on new COVID cases today, but in yesterday's update by State Health Minister. So yesterday, uh, Assam reported recorded 327 new cases of COVID-19, and out of which 195 uh, cases are from Guwahati city itself, which uh, which shows that uh, what kind of dire situation the, sh- uh, the city is in, because it's almost 200 cases. And uh, like the health minister had earlier stated, that um, Assam, uh, Guwahati city will uh, overwhelm, overwhelm uh, it'll get overwhelmed if the number of cases continue to come like this. And that is why the lockdown was um, imposed. So giving you a total figure, Assam is at now uh, 7,492 cases, of which uh, 2,390 are active and 5,088 people have been cured. So there's a difference of almost 2,700 between the uh, discharged patients and the active patients. Assam has now recorded 11 deaths and three people have migrated to other states. Now, yesterday's figure was 327, which is the second highest number of cases reported by the state in a single day. Earlier, the big, uh, the biggest single day spike in Assam was 331, which was reported on June 22. And also, yesterday, Assam uh, has uh, successfully completed 3,85,299 tests. And uh, this is all yeah, updates from yesterday because today there's no update so far from the health minister. And um, in uh, from 27th to 28th June, uh, Assam has successfully conducted over 10,000 tests. Now, um, that's the news that we have from Gohati. Now, let's head on to um, Manipur, to Sally. And let's get the latest update, Sally. So, Sally, there's a report of a COVID-19 patient who had recovered from the uh, from the infection that she has uh, she killed herself now she ended her own life so can you tell us more about that yes uh, simran thank you so much it's uh, very unfortunate that this uh, 21 year old girl uh, who had recently returned from chantikar was uh, tested positive uh, that was on the, uh, may 31st and then on June 1, uh, there was another, uh, there was, uh, her sample was retested. Again, it was shown to positive. So, yes, uh, she was undergoing, undergoing uh, COVID treatment and genius. And then she was like uh, recovered from the P- from COVID 19 on June 14. So, yesterday she was found at, uh, at her home, at her home during her home quarantine. And since she was, um, this, I mean, recovered on June 14, which means yesterday was the last day of her home quarantine. But unfortunately, uh, she was found dead. And uh, that's Prince, the reason... Uh, sorry, the, Sally, uh, if I uh, may ask you, like, um, mm-hmm. like a question that comes to my mind, was uh, the reason mm-hmm. why she took this step, was it somehow related to stigmatization? Uh, till now, uh, as I spoke with the Imphal East SP yesterday night, uh, they have not ascertained the actual the reason behind of taking her on life. But yes, the police are uh, investigating and they are questioning the family members and a couple of her friends as well. But so far, uh, no one knows how exactly why she took her on life. But yes, definitely, uh, as uh, uh, one of the uh, state health officials said that yesterday, that a lot of uh, you know people at the isolation or during the quarantine period you tend to go for this uh, under depressions so that is the reason the state government have also initiated and they have already set up a 24 by 7 helpline number which is um 18003453818 i repeat the helpline number for the psychological if anyone needs a psychological help or you know counseling or if anyone is under depression during especially during this quarantine period the state government have already set up a health test uh, a helpline number 24 by 7, uh, which the number is 18003453818. This is one step that the state have taken up uh, this uh, helpline number. But as we went back to this uh, 
the incident which happened yesterday uh till now the state uh, the state of i mean the, the state police are not uh, you know come to the conclusion why she took her own life but yes she definitely might be under some depression because normally whenever some people took life more, normally most of the cases are like you know under some depression but till now the state officials state police even the family are not sure why she took her own life simran thank you so much for that update sari now um i'll come back to you for more updates now um sure. chandan from tripura uh, like in case of uh, tripura also uh now here was a patient from alipur who had recovered from covid 19 but in uh, tripura a 50 year old woman had uh, had and it was found dead uh, in a hospital before she had tested positive for covid 19 so chandan can you brief us about that yes simran uh the incident took place uh, earlier this month a 50 year old woman from uh, from west district in uh, under ampuli police station she was admitted in the flu ward of AGMC, which is which also has the COVID hospital in Agartala. So she was uh, diagnosed with a cold and a cold cough and fever. So on having suspension, the health department collected her sample and samples was sent for the test. So there was a perception. The family members they said that the lady was worried. She was worried since she was 50 year old. She belongs to a village. Although it's in the west district, she comes to, from the, from a village. the sample was tested and when i spoke with the health secretary sk rakesh he confirmed that the lady was tested positive but 4 hours before the sample tested report uh, tested positive the lady was found dead in the laboratory of the same hospital so this is, yes yeah sorry so can we say that the uh, reason uh, not to put it like that but uh, stigmatization led to the fear of stigmatization led to this drastic step yes we can say that but although i have to also mention that the state government had announced that any person who dies of corona virus their family member will get a package of rupees 10 lakh but in this case the government has not given any financial assistance to their family members and the name of the lady was listed in unnatural death so we have also questioned the government why they have done this so they they had they're saying that the lady died prior to the uh, sample testing positive where is okay. another person another person who died of covid his family members will get 10 lakh rupees but the lady who tested positive so chandan i have like a question so in this case the woman uh, uh, was found dead uh, according to reports she uh, killed herself she ended her yes. life in yes. case if uh, suppose it was a person with comorbidities and yes. a person with comorbidity died and then maybe of natural causes and then was tested positive so in that case will uh, the deceased family be uh, eligible for the compensation no in this case the family members did not receive a single penny when we questioned the cabinet minister of allah he clearly said that until and unless a person tests positive and he is under the surveillance nothing will be provided to the family members okay okay thank you so much for that update chandan will come back to you now let's get back to sally so um sally in manipur uh, the students body uh, conducted a drive against uh, selling of intoxicant items the report is already live on our website but can you please uh, brief our viewers yes uh, simran um, yes today uh, all manipur student union uh, infal is unit so all manipur student has a different unit they have an abex body so this infal uh, unit uh, have a contacted a drive against uh, selling of uh, illegal intoxicant items in various shops so this specific drive was carried out today at mantri pukri market which is in imphal is east district itself and since this is a surprise uh, check surprise visit to those uh, shops uh, they could you know um, carried out uh, the drive Uh, up to uh, around like three two hundred shops, they covered two hundred two hundred shops. So from this two uh, hundred shops, uh, they uh, seized a lot of uh, intoxicant items and a lot of uh, banned uh, tobacco products. Because do du- especially during this uh, lockdown, during this COVID lockdown, so COVID nineteen lockdown, the state government have officially announced uh, earlier that. Yeah, those uh, selling of uh, illegal um, tobacco products or you know uh, those intoxicant items are totally prohibited in the state 
So yes, uh, they they could uh, they could seize this product from around two hundred shops, and uh, at least the word of uh, the seized items is a word of one point five lakhs from this two hundred. So whatever they have seized the items, they have uh, completely on the spot itself they burned down. So yes, they have already warned those other shops that they will be coming back again because this tribe in this specific district by this specific unit. Is the first. This is the first tribe that they have been carried out, but they have promised that they will be carried out in various parts of the district. Uh, this um, uh, Ansu, this uh, All Manipur, this Amsu All Manipur Students Union, uh, Bishnubu unit, as well as uh, Kakching unit, that is a two district, have also earlier they have carried out the similar tribe where they could seize a lot of illegal uh, banned items from the shops. So yes, this is one of the. Um, Initiative carried out by the student body based in Imphal, Simran. Thank you for that update. Um, now, moving on, I would like to give the updates from Mizoram. <clears throat> so, um, in Mizoram, today six people were discharged, six COVID-19 patients were discharged. And with that, um, the tally for the state is like this. Uh, total number of cases reported from Mizoram is 151. The total number of patients who are discharged has gone up to 61 and 90 active cases remain in the state and the state has not, not even reported a single death so far. That's, uh, that's what we have from Mizoram. Um, moving on to Arunachal. So um, Arunachal reported, so there's uh, according to a release from the health department of Arunachal Pradesh. So uh, yesterday, there's no update from today. So yesterday, five new cases of COVID-19 were reported. And of these, three are from Itanagar Capital Complex, one from Namsai and one from Changlang. And um, six people, six COVID-positive patients were discharged after they tested negative for COVID-19 in two consecutive samples. And um, uh, uh, with that, Arunachal is at 182 COVID-19 cases, of which uh, 121 are active. 60 people have recovered uh, and uh, one death has been recorded. So if you see the recovery, it's uh, roughly about 30% of the total reported cases in Arunachal. Now, um, we've seen today that um, petrol and diesel prices have been hiked. Fuel prices have been hiked across the country. And um, according to reports, um, petrol prices have been hiked by 5 paise per litre and diesel by 13 paise per litre today. So essentially, this makes the two fuels, uh, this makes petrol costlier by 12.87% and diesel by 16.05% in, in the past three weeks, can, uh, considering the total, uh, total uh, raises uh, bought in. So price hike. Uh, so the, uh, overall, uh, diesel has increased by 12.87% and uh, petrol, uh, sorry, Sorry, uh, petrol has increased by 12.87% the price and uh, for diesel it's 16.05%. Now, um, the Congress chief Sonia Gandhi today has accused the central government of extorting the common people uh, by raising the fuel prices 22 times after the coronavirus induced lockdown was implemented across the nation. And in this regard, there was also protest in uh, Tripura today so uh, Congress had uh, protested in Tripura today against the fuel hike. So Chandan, can you brief us about it? Yes, Simran. As you just rightly mentioned, the Congress has uh, held a all India pan level protest today across India, and all the PCCs has particip participated in it. Speaking with the East Mojo, the PCC President Pijush Kanti Bishwas, he said that the government has increased the uh, crude, uh, crude, although the price of crude fuel in the international market has decreased around 248 times than what it was during the time of UPA government. But the NDA government led by BGP has intentionally increased the price 22nd times in past 23 days, which is a kind of loot. This is what he has mentioned. He's, he has specifically said the government is looting people. They are doing this intentionally because the government knows that they have had a uh, loss by implementing a wrong lockdown. He also said the lockdown was completely wrong. The government did not review, they did not uh, sit with all the parties, they did not consult with the stakeholders and the, all of a sudden the lockdown was imposed. 
following which all the major industries, small scale businessmen had, had, had suffered a huge loss and a number of people lost their job. People were forced to return back to their home states. So this has led to an economic loss to, <clears throat> to get some ease from this lockdown losses. The central government has increased the price of the fuel, uh, including petrol and diesel. And right now in Tripura, if I have to tell you the price of petrol and diesel, uh, petrol cost around uh, 80 rupees and 41 paise per liter, while diesel costs 75 rupees 8 paise per liter. This is today's, uh, today's uh, rate. So the price has increased. I've also tried to speak with uh, some of the people visiting the petrol pumps to refill their vehicles. They have said that, yes, the price of the fuel has increased and it is something that they are worried about because if the price of the diesel increased to be very particular. The price of accommodations which comes from the other states will also increase. And in a period like this, pandemic and lockdown, people will further have to pay more for the commodities which they are paying now higher. So this was what uh, the Congress and the protest all about. Silver. Thank you so much for that update. Indeed, things are going to get costlier. As a consumer myself, I've been told by uh, people around me or vendors that things are going to get costlier. There was, uh, there was. This is what uh, I've seen as a consumer on ground that. Due to COVID-19, because the industry was suddenly halted, so all the available products are being offered on a discount. We can see huge discounts are offered, but any new production is more, more very likely to be more expensive. Um, moving on, Chandan, can you give us the COVID-19 updates from the state? Yes, Simran. 12 more cases were reported uh, last evening, which the Health Minister and Chief Minister Biplo Pomardev informed us, with which the total number of positive cases in Tripura now stands at uh, 1,352. The number of active cases uh, till 6 p.m. today it was 265. And meanwhile, I spoke with you. The num uh, the number of active cases uh, has further reduced since six more people have been discharged just a while ago. The health minister, uh, the law minister Ratan Lalat, in his press conference, has informed, and the data has reached me just right now. So the number of people recovered is now uh, 1,085 which is quite good in compared to the number of cases that Tripura has recovered, uh, has registered. Uh, and to speak about the test per million in Tripura right now, it's uh, 15,842, which is one of the highest in India. And also to speak about uh, people in various quarantine, in facility quarantine uh, right now, there are 498 people in different facility quarantine, while in home quarantine, there are 5,266 people. Samples collected so far is 64,642, which is uh, one of the highest in this, in this region. And, the, and as I also said that the number of tests being done in the state is also one of the highest. So talking about the particular details, like uh, the Tripura is testing one of the highest, as I just mentioned. In Tripura, we have to see that uh, the government has only one single lab, but still the government decided to test all the people visiting the state. Also, a uh, day before yesterday, the government has decided that all the people coming out from other states and abroad through airways, they will be collected. All the samples will be collected. Earlier, it was done on 5 is to 1 ratio, but now the government has decided that all the people coming through airways, their samples will be tested and they will be put under home quarantine for 14 days. And if they test positive, their contacts means where they will be staying. If they opt for staying in village quarantine or quarantines uh, that are set up by the government, then only they will be put on the uh, COVID care center. But if they choose to stay at their home, and then the samples of their family member who are, who are close with them, their samples will also be tested. Similar. Thank you so much for that update, Chandan. Meanwhile, there's breaking news coming in from Nagaland. 17 fresh cases of COVID-19 have been detected in Twangsang, uh, uh, district and uh, with that this is the most recent update given by the health minister with that the total number of positive cases in Nagaland as is at 451 active added 283 168 people have recovered from the uh, infection and uh, Nagaland has so far fortunately not even reported a single um, COVID-19 death so this makes it um, so with the 17 fresh cases, this is uh, 36 new cases of COVID-19 reported from the state today. 19 were detected in the morning. And uh, with that, we come to an end for today's show. All the stories that we've discussed are live on our website. And um, sorry, 
all the stories that we've discussed are live on our website and i would like to uh, request all of you guys to please log on to www.esmojo.com and read all the stories um i would like to thank you for your constant support in watching us every day monday to friday live at 6:30 pm you can uh, write to us if you have any uh, opinion you want to share with us or if you have uh, any suggestions for us please write to us at editor@esmojo.com we also have a very active fact checking team and um you, if you come uh, come across any picture any video or any piece of information that needs authentication or just seems wrong to you you can send that across to us and we'll verify it for you you can send it at editor@esmojo.com or you can even send it to us via our facebook page please stay connected with us through facebook instagram twitter and youtube This is Simran Bajaj signing off for today.